In the day-to-day -day operations of handling food, many decisions need to be made about quality. It is important to know where your food comes from, how it's sourced, how to process it, how to store it, and the best cooking methods to match it. These tutorials will take you on your learning journey. Supply chain. There are five main prawn species in Australia. Eastern king prawns are fished in New South Wales and Queensland. Western king prawns are fished in Western and South Australia. Banana prawns are fished in the Gulf of Carpentaria. Brown tiger prawns are fished in New South Wales, Western Australia, Queensland and the Gulf of Carpentaria. And blue and red endeavour prawns are fished on the north coast of Western Australia, the Torres Strait Islands, the Gulf of Carpentaria and the east coast of Queensland. There are also black tiger and banana prawns, which are farmed in ponds in Northern Australia. Different species of prawns have different size and flavour attributes. You can use a specific prawn to match a particular dish. Trawl is one of the most widely used prawn fishing methods in Australia. Trawling is performed in many ways and strict management rules apply to all prawn fisheries. The prawns are then caught, sorted, graded for size and quality, sometimes cooked, boxed, chilled or frozen, and then transported to restaurants, processing centres or retail centres. Prawns can also be snap frozen on the boat and this ensures the quality of frozen prawns is as good as that of fresh ones. Years of research have gone into ensuring that the Australian prawn industry meets the highest level of environmental compliance, including being certified by the Marine Stewardship Council and accreditation endorsed by the WWF. Processing. There are so many different ways to actually prepare prawns. So I'm gonna give you a few different tips so when you're cooking, your prawns are gonna look fantastic. But before we start, I'm gonna identify a few different things that you need to know when looking at prawns. So here we've got some beautiful Shark Bay King prawns. What you need to look for is to make sure that the head's still intact. So it's all in one piece. The legs are still intact and all the tails are still intact as well. The next thing you need to look for is the head. It's not discolored. As soon as the head starts to go black, that's when you're starting to lose quality in your prawns. And it should smell like all good seafood fresh. So here's some quick tips on peeling prawns. First, you want to remove the head. So if you get your thumb and you basically put it on the bottom half of the head here, you basically pull that straight off. There's this point here as well, if you're lucky, you can actually grab the vein at the same time. But we do need to double check, so there's a few tips on that as well. So now, peeling the shell, you want to place your thumb, you want to use the main part of your thumb here. And you want to slip on the inside of the legs there and kind of roll that around. So then you'll get three prawn shells off in one go. Then, same sort of process, you peel another two segments off. And what we're going to do now is we're going to leave that tail on. And that's what we call a prawn cutlet. So to double check that we've cleaned this prawn, we need to make sure we've removed the intestinal tract. So what we're going to do basically is get a knife and place a small incision around the back tail of the prawn. And that will allow us to see any impurities that are inside that flesh. So just clean that away quickly. So there we have a beautifully clean prawn cutlet. Now to make a prawn meat, we basically just remove the tail. Now, if you use your index finger and you get to the top of that prawn tail and slowly just pull away, that making a prawn meat, perfectly ready for cooking. Another way to prepare your prawn cutlets is to butterfly them. That'll make the prawns look a lot bigger and visually presentable. So the way you do that is, by making a small incision down the tail of the prawn, on the belly side, all the way down, being careful you don't cut all the way through. And once you open up that prawn, beautifully cleaned, perfect prawn, nice and big as well. Receiving and storage. When receiving prawns, three quarters of your prawns, if not all your prawns are gonna come in frozen. That's because they snap freeze on the boat for best quality for us to be able to get. Then what we need to check 
is make sure that the, the species is right. So king, tiger prawns, endeavour, coral could be either or. Um, then we go from the size, 610 to the pound, 15 to 25, 11 to 15, 16 to 20, or soft and broken, meaning soft shell and broken prawn. The lower the number, the bigger the prawn, and they go up from there. Checking for quality of frozen seafood is just as important as fresh. First of all, we need to double check to make sure that there's a liner in there. This stops any uh, freezer burn that's coming along the way. Open her up. Now we need to check for black spot. Black spot happens usually when temperatures change through the storage from the boat all the way through to the, the cold storage to us. So making sure there's no black spot, there's no broken pieces. You're not going to know the whole box, but it all looks pretty good. So we can make sure we wrap back up again to again avoid that freezer burn in, in our freezers. Sign the docket. And then into the freezer. Minus 20 would be best practice. Preparation. Cooking method. Steaming. Today's cookery method, steaming. To me, steaming is one of the best ways you can treat Australian seafood. You get a better recovery of nutrients and flavour, plus a better recovery of your end product, thus helping your food costs. Tools I need for steaming are steamer basket, pot with hot water, obviously the prawns, and an ice slurry for plunging the prawns straight in after they're cooked. Australian prawns are delivered to you frozen, reason being they are snap frozen on the boat immediately after catch, thus ensuring premium quality. They do have a long distance to travel mostly to get to your door, so this is the best possible way to treat a premium product. Right, methods of cookery with the steaming, get your water boiling, bring your steamer basket, fill it with the prawns. Now cooking time will depend on the size of the prawn and how many prawns you have but let's say between seven to 10 minutes. Steam a basket in, lid on, timer on. Once the prawns are cooked, the most important thing you can do is slow down the cooking or stop the cooking by taking your prawns and putting them straight into an ice slurry. Now how to peel your Australian steamed prawn. Firmly hold the tail, twist the head, get your fingers under the edge of the shell. Just peel back gently, holding the little tail bit. Wind this back. The legs will come off mostly in one hit. There we go, beautiful Australian steamed prawn cutlet. Now to devein your steamed prawn, Hold the prawn firmly by the tail, take a sharp knife, run it down the ridge, just fold back and pull out the little intestinal sac. Now depending what the prawn's been feeding on will actually depend on what's inside the prawn, so just bear that in mind. Once again, hold this down, fold back, pull out the intestinal tract. Remembering to keep the heads and the shells, they can enhance a stock or a bisque. So presentation is an integral part of cookery. Today we're taking the steamed Australian prawn and making a wonderful, simple Asian salad. So to make the dish visually attractive, we're going to put in some whole steamed prawns and some sliced prawns. Now to slice your prawns in half, take the tail off, hold firmly, and just run your knife through. Once again, hold firmly, squeeze the tail. So to present this dish, take some fresh coriander, some fresh chili, which gives it a beautiful, vibrant color, a squirt of lemon juice or lime juice, and a gentle toss. So here you have it, simple Asian salad with steamed Australian prawns. Nutritional value. 
Prawns are a tasty, low-fat source of minerals. Omega-3 fatty acids contain anti-inflammatory properties, which can reduce the risk of heart disease and arthritis. Selenium is an antioxidant, which assists in maintaining thyroid health and the body's immune system. Phosphorus transports energy and helps protect the blood's acid-base balance. You can find more nutritional value facts at superseafood.com.au. Seasonality and availability. Always check the seasonality when shopping for fish. You can do that by checking a seasonality calendar. If your preferred option is not in season, ask your supplier for an alternative. 